Hello and welcome back to this video series on global health ethics. My name is Greg Martin. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the idea of exploitation. Most of us intuitively hold to the notion that if an impoverished person sells one of his or her kidneys, or a teenager is coerced into prostitution, or perhaps sells him or herself into slavery, then that person in some shape or form is being exploited. Now an extreme libertarian would of course argue that Provided the exchange is voluntary, it represents the best option for both parties and therefore can't possibly be exploitative. So what exactly do we mean by exploitation and where should society draw the lines? A simple definition of exploitation is this. It's the voluntary exchange of two things of unequal value where the exploited party voluntarily accepts an unfair exchange as a result of some pre-existing injustice or rights violation. To understand this a little better, let's consider the spectrum of possible transactions between two parties. In any transaction, goods and services go from at least one party to another and sometimes in both directions. At one end of the spectrum is gifting, with no expectation of payment. And at the other end of the spectrum is robbery, with no possibility of payment. And in the middle somewhere, there's an opportunity for fair exchange. Somewhere between fair exchange and a gift is what we call a benefit. And the counterpart to a benefit, a transaction somewhere between a fair exchange and robbery, is what we call exploitation. So the question is, why would anyone go into a transaction within which what they're going to get out of the transaction is worth less than what they're putting in? Your extreme free marketeer would argue that you can't possibly have exploitation because the value of anything is defined by the price that you can get for it on any given day. However, this fair exchange assumes that there's no background injustice affecting the decision making of the parties concerned. Let's imagine an auction, and at this auction we're selling books. Now in the free market system, the market works when all the possible buyers have an opportunity to bid. If the book was sold for $20, but a potential buyer who would have paid $30 was unfairly barred at the door, then the seller will have been exploited to a value of $10. From this example, we can see how injustice can have an impact on a transaction. And this is really what exploitation is. Okay, to get your mental juices flowing, here's a little bit of controversy. Is there a case to be made that historic injustice through, for example, colonization, has led to unfair exchanges today in which poor populations perhaps disproportionately participate in clinical trials or even worse, surrender their organs to rich people for which they seemingly get very little benefit for themselves? It's a controversial question, I know, but it's deliberately so because I'd like to hear what you think. Please put your comments below. I look forward to reading them. Thanks for listening.